Morning. Come on. At the moment, I'm slightly overcast. What's that mean? Pit stop. In a secluded corner of what's that mean? Pit stop. One or two butterflies knocking around, namely ringlets. No gatekeepers appeared yet. There was hardly any. Meadow Browns. Strange year, but we're here to hopefully try the Luna Hornet one, which is one of the clear wings, which is one of the two large clear wings which we have in Nottinghamshire. Not tried yet for Hornet Moth. Got to go to university to get that. So, in order to lure it, we're going to try this. Worked really well last year, and it's just a case of hanging it on a suitable branch and waiting. Hopefully, if they're out and about, they'll appear. They're quite wasp like. Well, they're very wasp like. To be honest, you've got something's flying around there. I'm not sure whether it's it or not, but hopefully one will soon come in. Only the males are attracted to lures, because the lure obviously is mimicking the scent, the pheromone of the female. Now last year, this new lure that they've developed worked brilliantly. So hopefully, even with these conditions at the moment, the sun has been out. We should get one fairly soon. In the meantime, I will waffle on. Right. Luring is one way of finding this moth. But an easier way, something that can be done in winter, is looking for the exit holes. And the exit holes are located at the base of sallows, goat sallow in particular. Easy to find, nearly a centimetre across, and we're in, look, look. There's one just come round, it'll come round again, look. It's just gone. It takes a while to home in on where it is. It's just here, look. It's coming back in. Sometimes you know, they'll make several passes over first and then they'll come in once they've homed in on the scent and the source of it. That one appears, to, oh no, it's here, look. Not quite sure. I'll come in briefly and then go again. And it won't just be the same moth that's coming in. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll just move this so that the lure is now on there. So it might actually now come and land on the leaves next time one comes in. That one's obviously lost interest. So we await the next visitor. And the males can be found with the females. Freshly emerged. When the females freshly emerged. Early in the morning. The first few hours in the morning. Especially on cloudy days. But the lure, this new lure works brilliantly these and say it only took was it a minute for one cream in so we get joined by another here we go here comes another one
Like it's buzzing around me more than. More than it is the lure. Still buzzing around me. Don't tell me. I smell like a female lure in a hornet moth. Oh, there's two now. There we go, look. This one's still buzzing around me. Around my arm. So we've now got two here. Mm -hmm. The nice it settles. So there's two there, look. But they are big, They're as big as a hornet. We've got two knocking around here, look, and here comes this one. And there's both of them. So there we go. Fabulous things, aren't they? It took me years, it wasn't until the advent of this lure last year, I'd never seen the adult exit holes by the dozen. That one of the males has gone now. Nice to have sex with that, unfortunately, the lad. There we are. The cracking lunar hornet moth, and it is widespread in Nottinghamshire. A lot more than what was thought. I say an easy way to record it is by the exit holes, and that could be done in winter. I'll just come round here now. So we've had three individuals within a couple of minutes. You won't think they're a moth, will you? And they spend about a couple of years in the larval stage. And the larva live under the bark. I've got no idea they're there or have been there until it makes the exit hole in preparation for pupation and subsequent emergence. So there we go. The fabulous lunar hornet moth. Fabulous, isn't it? And off he goes. So there we are, a glimpse into the world of the lunar hornet moth.